Good morning guys and this is Corning with Gotab and guys today I am going to talk about the level gem by gem so without any further ado let's get into it and in this level I'm also going to talk about leak list and I'm going to explain them more in my next video so let's get into it so here we have a base gem which is the a root gem and that's the first root gem you can find and free gems is the gem free gems is an array of gems that you can find so before we get into the rest of the code let us look at what we're doing so as i told these are the free gems the small ones and this is the base gem right over here the big one so what we have to do is we have to take all the free gems using the base gem we have to link them into a link list and then we have to get them in line so that it'll open the door and we can get out of here. Yes. So I'm just going to talk briefly about what a linked list is. So a linked list, as it says, is just a list, but it's linked. So for example, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 in a list. 1.next, 2, 2.next, 3, 3.next, 4, 4.next, 5. These are all linked elements. So even if you take one off, the chain will break. In a normal list, if you take 10 also, nothing will happen. So that is one big difference between a linked list and a list. So yeah, let's get into it. As I told, base gem is the first root gem we can find. Free gems is an array of gems. So let us dive in. So, what we have to do over here is that we have to add one more at the new head of the list. The second you read that, it, you don't get a clear idea of what you have to do. So, first let us go down and finish this first, and then let's go up and finish the hard ones. So, you have to add two more gems to the list one by one, okay? So, I'm going to use the link list topic I just now talked about. So, free gems, free gems. Two, so the second element of free gems dot next equals free gems dot three. So what we mean by over here is that the second element of free gems, the next element is the third element. So yeah, that's it. Let's just copy and paste it a few times. This can only go up to five because there is only one, two, three, four, five gems. So so three next four. 4 next 5. And if you try to do 5 next 6, it's going to say that not valid. So here we just basically have nothing yet. Uh, next then you get all the gems but one. This. Gem number 3. So how do we get that? It's because of this line of code. So first let's read the hints for more, for more information. Okay? Those gems are unusual diamonds which you can collect. They are alive and they can help you open the door. Use the base gem and the property next to build a linked list of the gems. The base gem should be the third or the second index of the result. So this is a linked list item 0.next, 1, item 1.next, 2. I already talked about that. And next, linked list is an effective data structure where you have to expand a list. However, it's only effective if you uh, add elements to the head or the tail of a list. So this is just an example. It just explains what a linked list is. This is it any use to us in the code. So first, let's just read about it. So we have a head list, which is hero.findnearest item. Head list dot next is gem dot one. Gem one dot next is gem dot two. Append the head. Gem three dot next equals head list. Head list equals gem three. And yeah, so this last part over here, you may not understand. So it takes the next gem three of head list. And then head list equals gem three. So you have to append the head using the next function, and then you have to get the new head, which is head list equals gem dot three. So let's just go back here and let's just read this. This is one the main thing that will help us. The base gem should be the third or second index of the result list. And if we read over here again, add one more at the new head of the list. So before we do this, we have to understand what's above it. So append the element before the base gem. Add one more at the new head of the list. So what we understood about this is, so we have this free gem zero, which is an element before it. 
and we need to append another element before it and this should make the base gem as the second element of the list so how can you get a second element it's just free gems are two but since you cannot just write free gems dot two equals base gem that will like corrupt the whole code free gems okay wrong one so it should be free gems dot next free 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 gems one dot next this helps us keep the link list property and it doesn't corrupt our code so free gems one dot next now what should we do over here let's think about it so free gems dot one dot next and we should also make it an element before the base gem so what element is before the base gem free gems dot zero so free gems one dot next equals Three gems dot zero, and yeah, there you have it. The answers of linked gems. Sometimes you you may get hard problems in code combat, but always think about it slowly and step by step, and you'll solve your problems. So here it is, the answers to gem by gem. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to this video. And I hope you have a good day. This is Cody with Gotham, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.